also in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15. Therefore, he, that is Jesus Christ, is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. So Christ is mediator, and by his death, he gives us a new covenant. In Hebrews 12, it says Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant. He can only be that mediator because he is truly God and truly human. And that way, he truly bridges the gap. We are humans. We're creatures. And God the Father is, is God. He never became flesh. But Jesus Christ is the one who did. And um, so this is uh, very important. Now, then we can understand what St. Paul teaches in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 22, where he says, For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Now, this is something important. All of us have solidarity with Adam and Eve. We all die. This is part of being human. Not going to avoid it. And it, it's something that's inevitable. And by God's mercy, we don't know when. We have no idea. That's our solidarity with Adam. But we also say in Christ, all shall be made alive. That he will raise us from the dead. Just like he was. When he died and then rose again on Easter Sunday, then we see that Christ anchors in reality the truth of the resurrection. It's not just something vague, but it's something that happened. He did it. And therefore, that is the basis for us being able to be raised from the dead. And it, it we also see uh, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45, where St. Paul wrote, Thus it was written, and it was written in the book of Genesis, that the first man, Adam, became a living being. So when God breathed a spirit into him, gave him breath, and gave him a human spirit, we see that Adam became a living being. But the last Adam, who is Jesus Christ, became a life-giving spirit. So by God's gift of the spirit, Adam became a living being. But Jesus Christ isn't just a living being. He's someone who is able to bestow life. That's one of the key elements of what he does. And this is what we have to understand about Christ, is that he very much is able to bestow life.